part 45 of our world 10 series in which we are creating the admin panel e-commerce admin panel now we are creating and we are working on the products module okay in the last video we able to create the product table with the help of migration we can see that we able to create the product table with the, all the required columns there are some of the new columns that we have launched in the last video and now we are going to add few of the products view of the dummy products with the help of cedar okay so let's start so uh, i'm going to run uh, one command first of all uh, php artisan make cedar okay so cedar helps us to insert the data uh, uh, with with the help of cedar we can add the bulk data okay bulk uh, data uh, bulk insertion into the tables okay so let's start let's learn php artisan make cedar i'm going to make this file name like products table cedar it's the standard format of the file name okay if you are going to have the products table cedar see table cedar will always come at the last and before that we are going to uh, add like the table name uh, easy products then we are going to start from the caps products table cedar or maybe orders table cedar coupons table cedar like this we are going to make this cedar name okay so uh, so now the uh, it has been created you can see the cedar has been created successfully okay so now i'm going to open product table cedar okay so now uh, here i'm going to include the model uh, product model but we need to create it we have not created the model so far so we're going to create the model php addition make model product model we're going to create okay so it has been created so now we can add this model here use app models product okay so after adding this uh, product model uh, we are going to uh, see now here insert the queries uh, to uh, to insert the pro uh, dummy products okay so we uh, we can create here the array okay products records like this okay so here take it like this okay id is one uh, category id so here category id we are going to see under which category we are going to add the uh, products so i'm going to pick the uh, like uh, I'm going to add under the t-shirts so the t-shirt ID is 8 so I'm going to add the 8 here okay category ID is 8 because we want to add the products under t-shirt okay so the brand ID will also come but right now we don't have the brand module so I'm going to make it 0 right now later on we will fill it as well after that product name for product name we can add uh, like any blue t-shirt okay so after product name we're going to add the product code like bt01 then product color okay like uh, if we're going to add the dark blue or sky blue okay we can add it like this and after that uh, in family color we are going to add the blue like i have explained you earlier in family color we are going to add uh, the blue okay so after this uh, we are going to add the group code group code i have explained you like uh, group of uh, products uh, that we want to show together okay so group code uh, like something like you can add uh, like i have explained you in the last video as well uh, in the group code we have added you know, something like this t-shirt 000 okay something like this okay anything you can add but that must be matching with the another product as well okay so after group code uh, we are going to add the product price and for the product price as well i have explained you the product price can be uh, here you can see the 1500 and after that product discount Product discount can be zero or anything in percentage like 10% and discount type. This 
डिस्काउंट आई मे बी दी प्रोडक्ट और और कैट इट डिस्काउंट और मे बी नो नो डिस्काउंट टाइप देन वो विल नॉट एड एनी थिंग अदरवाइज वी की विल एड लाइक प्रोडक्ट डिस्काउंट इट मे बी सो आफ्टर दैट फाइनल फाइनल प्राइस ओके इन फाइनल प्राइस वी आर गोइंग टू एड थर्टीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन ओके आफ्टर डायरेक्टिंग दी टेन परसेंट फ्रॉम दी फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड ओके सो इट्स थर्टीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सी इट ऑटोमेटिकली वी आर गोइंग टू सी वेन वी विल एड दी प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम दी एडिपल all this will happen auto automatically okay we will write this one in code right now we are using this header so that's why we are inserting it manually so after final price uh, we are going to add the brack weight so brack weight any brack weight like 200 g so after this uh, we are going to make like 500 g okay so after this uh, we are going to add product video so right now we have we don't have any video so we can left it empty as well now the filter column will come no uh, for description will come description we can add anything like uh, test product okay so after this uh, uh, we are going to add the wash care as well okay so right now we will not add anything in wash care and after that keywords keywords column okay in keywords column we will not add anything for now okay in all other columns we will not any uh, add, add anything for now now no, the filter column will come up okay like the fabric we will not add anything i'm going to do it like this see all these are optional columns we will keep it like this okay so we can pick it from here out of fabric pattern after pattern sleeve after sleeve fit after fit occasion okay so after occasion matter title for seo okay so after matter title there are a few columns Few more columns here. Okay. Uh, after meta title, meta description. After meta description, meta keywords. After meta keywords, is featured. Is featured? Maybe yes or no. Like if we want to add it in yes. Okay, we can add it like this. Then status one. Okay, one more field I'm going to add here. Okay, like this. Then ID two, it will also come under category ID eight. Brand ID zero. Product name we can make it uh, uh, something like uh, red T-shirt. Product code I'm going to make it like R zero one. Then product color C maybe red only. So we will add the red in both the fields. Okay. So maybe the product color and family color match. Okay. so product color and family color sometimes match and sometimes don't match okay but in the family color we will always keep the main colors okay so now we will keep red in both now in group code we will assign the same teacher zero 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 okay product price now product price like uh, suppose one thousand we will not give any discount here we will keep it zero then here we will left it empty then the final price is also the same one thousand okay so After this, uh, product weight maybe four hundred gram. Product video rest of the columns we will uh, keep empty, okay. And here is featured maybe no, okay. So now we are going to insert here product insert the product codes like this, okay. So now uh, in the Uh, database seeder we are going to add we are going to call this uh, uh, our product seeder i'm going to disable the last one and we'll call now the product table seeder okay product table seeder so i'm going to call this one and we are going to run the command now php artisan db seed php artisan db seed php uh, artisan db seed this is the command that we are going to run okay 
php audition db seed uh, we're going to run this command so that it will create the column it will insert the columns uh, column data it will insert the data with the help of uh, cedar okay let's see uh, there's some issue has come up in these columns and we can see column not found procreate or uh, we're going to see uh, maybe we have missed or uh, I'm going to search that where is the weight column see we missed the weight column I think okay we completely missed the weight column we can see uh, okay so now uh, we can check here that uh, we may have missed yeah we have mentioned it uh, there uh, but uh, we have missed it completely okay uh, before product video we need to add the uh, product weight as well okay so what we can do we can either do it with the help of migration command uh, there are commands that we have used earlier on as well uh, okay and also uh, we can uh, simply add from php my admin so it's your wish that you can you want to add from here or you want to add from the migration command i'm going to add from the migration command okay okay so we uh, will insert the procreate column with the help of migration okay so uh, for the migration as well for updating uh, the column we will run uh, we will create one migration file php artisan make migration so we are going to create the migration file like uh, update products table as we want to update the products table okay so the migration file has been created i'm going to open update products table okay so here uh, we are uh, going to write down the query okay we are going to take the schema uh, table we're going to take here the products table okay and here the function dollar table will come up here it will come like this okay so inside this we are going to add product weight column dollar table string we are going to take the product weight column that we want to add that we forgot earlier product weight okay and we are going to add this column after product price okay so in the uh, here in down com uh, down function as well uh, we are going to add this similar but uh, we'll change here here uh, we are going to use the drop column in case we are going to roll back the changes okay drop column this product with column we may require to drop as well if in case something goes wrong like this Okay, so we are going to run the php addition migrate command so that we can able to update our uh, product tables yes it works we can see now uh, refresh the structure and here you can see the product weight column it has come up after product price so it's work fine now okay so now we are going to add uh, we will try the php artisan db seed command once again we have the product weight column we are adding the value here 500 and 400 weight of the two products okay so now we will try to insert the uh, rows that products once again php artisan db seed let's try yes this time it's running php artisan db seed it's done seeding database okay and and we are going to see that whether the uh, products come up in our products table yes we able to add the product we able to insert the product in our products table with all the required data okay here you can see the category id brand id product name product code product color family color group code product price product weight product discount okay 10 and 0 and product type product final price 1350 and 1000 test product description and along with that each feature one is uh, feature product and one one is not the feature product okay so we able to insert the uh, products with the help of cedar so in the next video we are going to show these products in the products module in the end panel we are going to show in the data table with the active inactive and the delete function active. so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye